Hello fellow dirt bike lovers, this is Tono from Rabaconda here. In this video I'm showing, um, I'm sharing my experience about how to change the tire with a mousse insert, also known as foam insert or a bib mousse, which is a truly great invention for riding, but changing those can be a real headache. However, with proper tools and uh, good working techniques, it can actually be pretty easy. I'm using here a Rabaconda 3-minute tire changer and a set of five Rabaconda Pro tire irons. Those tire irons can be used with both ends. The straight end is really good for dismounting a tire, while the curved end makes the mounting of a tire much easier. I will get into more details about uh, which end to use when later in the process. Um, the first thing you need to make sure is to have your tire changer set up uh, according to your wheel size. Uh, because this will allow the, the unique uh, beat breaker system to function um, as it's meant to. So I'm using an 18 inch uh, tire for the demo and I already have it here set up at the 18 inch uh, marker. Okay, let's get to the business. When uh, changing uh, a rear tire, uh, it's always better to keep the disc side facing up because this will give you more room to operate the tire irons. There's less chance of busting your knuckles or getting hurt here. Um, start with um, uh, releasing the rim lock. Release it almost to the very end of the rim lock bolt. Now, to start with, uh, with the dismounting, uh, position the rim lock straight across from the beat breaker system. Grab a tire iron and uh, use the straight end for this mounting. Uh, the straight end is easier to insert. It has, uh, it is stronger. And later it's easier to get them out between the tire and the rim. Uh, grab the green handle, position the bead breaker as close to the rim as possible. And uh, you know, sometimes the mousse can be really hard and it's, it's, it's so difficult to get the tire irons between, between there. So uh, the, the, the key here is to uh, put your body weight uh, as close to the end of the green lever as you can and simultaneously push in the, the, the tire iron. So it's, it's the best done with a one uh, quick and strong uh, movement. Like that. Make sure the tire iron is right next to the bead breaker because there you will have the most uh, space to insert it. Grab another one. Uh, leave about uh, four inch or, or 10 centimeter distance between the, the tire irons. Repeat the process. And the fourth one, uh, four tire irons is usually enough when changing a, a, a mousse insert. Uh, make sure you have the, the bead breaker close to the rim. Okay. Now, before you start flipping them, it's always good to, to test if they're nicely in there. If you pull and they won't slide out, then it's all good. Now, with a really hard mousse, there's also one trick to, to get them, the, the tire, tire irons flipped easier, is that you need to break the bead from, from the opposite side, so this will ha allow the tire to come over the rim more easily. So, have some pressure there. Grab one in the middle first, then the other one in the middle. Because if you grab the ones in the middle first, then those two here won't slide out. If you start with the one on the side, then the other ones might, might slide out easily. And now you can see the straight ends really just come out easily between the tire. Okay, now that you have about quarter of the tire dismounted, it's time to flip around the tire, flip around the wheel. At the sector which, uh, which is just uh, dismounted, position it under the bead breaker. Grab the handle again and start pushing the tire off. First, push off the lower bead and the mousse so it's completely outside of the rim. Once it's outside, again, start straight across from the rim lock and start pushing the tire completely off. Uh, put some pressure here. Here I have a really 
uh, slip your tire. So what you can do here is stick one tire iron here. And push it off. Once you have it only now standing on top of the rim lock, now it's not possible to push it over like that because you're pushing straight on top of the rim lock. Is um, the guiding system should be brought here, so you can just simply slide it over the rim lock. Now it's actually possible to mount the new tire without uh, taking the old one off. But I'm mounting the same tire here for the demo purpose. So when mounting a tire with a mousse insert, make sure you have it uh, prepared well. Uh, I'm not going into too much details about uh, how to prepare a mousse tire in this video. Uh, just make sure before mounting that you have removed the excess uh, mousse gel from the tire bead. You don't want to have them too slippery. And it's always good to have some uh, special uh, tire mounting spray uh, to make it to make to make the tire fitting easier. Here I just have uh, some soap soap water. It dries off later. Will cause no problems. Now when starting, put your. Uh, it's good to have a foot on the base frame. This will give you more stability. Position the rim lock uh, in front of you. Grab the tire, make sure if you have a rotational tire, make sure you're mounting it uh, the correct way. And step one here is to get the tire bead, the lower tire bead, behind the rim lock as far as possible. Try to get it really to the drop center of the rim. You can support it with your knee so it won't slide back. And push on the tire as much as you can. Keep some tension with one hand, grab a tire iron, you can do this also with two, I'm used to doing it with one, works also well. Now before mounting the upper bead, the mousse should be completely in, in, in the rim, so you won't see it like that. Position the, the rim lock here under the bead breaker system. Uh, put the first tire iron close to the rim lock here and fix it under, under the hook here. This nice little hook gives an extra hand, keeps the first tire iron in place. Take another four tire irons and start mounting the tire. Some, some soap water never hurts. You have less chances of harming your tire. Take three, keep them, keep the two in one hand, operate with, with another. Once you're about one third in, take a tire iron with a straight end and stick it right here. Take a few bites, grab another one here. Now those two tire irons uh, here will work as sliders once we get to the last section of the tire. And they will help to guide the tire bead down to the drop center of the rim, which will uh, allow us to safely mount the last part of the tire. The closer you get to the end, the smaller bites should be taken. Now, as I'm getting here, you can see how the tire nicely sucks in there and, and we can safely mount the tire. If you hear any cracking from the tire, uh, you probably don't have it deep enough from the opposite side and you might uh, harm the tire. Once you get closer to the end, you might find that it's difficult to get the tire irons in. What helps here is if you if you, if, if you come back with the one you, you have here, release the tension, get, get the, the second one in, and then one, two. And now for mounting the last section here between the rim lock and the rim, 
There are different ways for doing this. Now I'm showing how I usually do this. And uh, for me, it always works well. It takes maybe a few tries just to, you know, get used to the, 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 the move. But for me, it always works. Uh, step one here is to position the beat breaker on top of uh, the rim lock, as close to the rim as possible. Step two is to lever the tire, lever the tire iron from the brake disc, push it in. And then step three is to push down the tire like that. Now, I've heard people complaining that, I, oh, you might break your uh, brake disc, bend it. Well, I've been doing this for years. I've seen pro riders doing this at the competitions and I've never heard of any problems. So it's, 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 it's completely safe way for doing this. Now, before heading out, um, make sure you you fasten the rim lock nut. Remove some soap water so it looks nice and fresh. I hope the tricks I've shown you will make you a better tire changer. In case you have any questions, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.